he can hit his sweet spots with his sword. It's it's a very tight range, which is, I guess why we're not seeing the Sephiroth. <laughs> Oh, taking it to FD, I actually really like this pick because if you have a um, zoner who's, I mean, the main essential goal is just to zone you out as much as they can, taking to them to FD is actually a really good option, which I feel like not most people know to do. Um, but yeah, it's just really good just because you don't really have too many options that you can choose, and being that Duck Hunt is really good at um, much trapping people. I would definitely understand why they would like to take um, Pac-Man to um, FD, honestly, truthfully. Yeah, you cut off a lot of uh, Pac-Man's more explosive combo routes, not that uh, Sinji was more known for his uh, extensive combo game. Okay, you can footstool instead. Oh. Sure. Oh. He got the kill. <laughs> But this is where Sinji has been, not on ledge, but Sinji's been known to, when he has a lead, playing it slow, playing it careful, and making his lead last for minutes at a time. And if you can't circumvent that, then that uh, Zane is gonna, it's gonna be, gonna be in a pickle. Especially since Duck Hunt takes even longer to set up than Pac-Man does in most instances. It's very interesting to see how um, both Zane and Sinji interact with their items to kind of just make it do what they want. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just honestly really interesting to see like all the different types of interactions that they have. Yeah, I mean, Zane has to be a lot more creative with uh, can setups. A lot of the, a lot of their tools are uh, a lot more linear in their progression, but. Sinji can play this. Sinji's playing this uh, arguably correct, right? Just relying on shield. Hydrant is out there somewhere, of which he can always retreat behind. And Key has been namely getting a lot of utility in the opening part uh, in this game one. Since Zane has no tool that outright either just, just clashes with it. Like Key beats Gunman, beats the Clay Pigeon. Beats the uh, beats goes through can. Like it, it's, it's tricky. It's a tricky tool. That's <laughs> the name of Pac-Man's kit entirely. Like he's got a lot of tricks. Very nice air dodge to the ledge there. Um, just seeing how he can try and at least oh by the apple. <laughs> it, it bounced there one time too many. It was so bad. Very oh, nice that's on the dodge right there, but not enough to put him back in any position to help you know, make this game even. But honestly, Zane is going to have to do a lot to kind of, you know, even this up. Yeah, they and, have the work cut out for them for sure. Yeah, they don't have too much time. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, it, it's going to be a heck of a ride. I mean, plenty of use of can coming out right now, but the get up attack just in time. It's 71 already. I Pac-Man put her on the damage and Sinji finally losing that first stock, but I'm if I'm willing to bet Sinji's comfortable playing his game. Like they've got they've got nothing to worry about at this point. And especially since Zane, they're uh, they're playing at a slower pace, partially because they have to. Uh, that being said, you know what? Maybe I'll eat my words a little bit. 74 in a blink of an eye. The, con the conversion I mean, of Duck Hunt. Be it definitely is going to be really hard for them to take that second stock. I mean, if anything, I'd definitely have to see Zane start using a little bit more of um, Sinji's, you know, key even, I mean, um, not key, of uh, just items in general, even though that sounds like a very, um, a very choice that you'd probably see a lot of people say, but definitely going to lose that stock. It's just sometimes good to um, take away, you know, Pac-Man's ability to play the game. Honestly, even if you don't really like need to use it, Zane has probably like three options at their disposal. You know, you have Gunman, um, I think it's Disc that it's called, and you have Clay Can, Pigeon. So, Clay Pigeon? Oh. Clay Pigeon. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, they have a lot of tools that they can use, but honestly, it's just a little bit more of just trying to manage just everything at the same time, because look at what they have to kind of, you know, deal with. You know, they have to deal with 
what tool is gonna hit what, you know, what's lying around the stage, what's trading with what. It's just a lot to kind of follow up on, so it's definitely understandable why this matchup could be definitely be annoying. So I honestly wouldn't, you know, be surprised if I would see a switch from Zane. Oh no, it looks like they're just switching stage, but keeping with the duck hunt. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he, the dog's their best character, at least Three, from two, the character, one, from their current go. character roster that I know of, which is like what, like 15 characters. But so they they can uh, the they can pursue this <laughs> duck hunt. <laughs> So some sometimes people got it, and when you do, you have to respect it. But they got it; they want it. Yeah, the, the gunman will not. The gunman doesn't break the hydrant, and <laughs> Zane eats fifty nine for his trouble for their troubles. <laughs> I feel like PS two. I want. I want to know what Zane. Uh, excuse me. What Sinji banned? Because you're not banning PS2, it's a really good stage for uh, a lot of uh, for a lot of zoning characters. Really wide. But I want to know what Zane banned, or excuse me, what Sinji banned. Because if you're going to PS2 as your best pick, whether it be comfort or otherwise, then like that feels rough. <laughs> Okay, I mean, definitely making this even. Looking like Zane is having an easier time on this stage than they did with um, FD. But is there's been too many stages that they could have, um, you know, took Sinji to? Because if I remember, there's three stages that people ban now, or I'm not yeah, sure. Still two. Two still. Okay. It, it's the you know allegiant for me, <laughs> making everybody ban three stages. Yeah, no, Very nice taking his around. first stock with the F tilt. I'm not sure if that was the Hattie Train? What did that? Hmm? I'm not the sure. The Hydrant? It looked like the Hydrant did it, but I'm not entirely yeah. sure. Uh, the Hydrant has a hitbox that hits whoever uh, set it into motion. So normally, it, while it's standing still, it's active. But since Sinji knocked it off of its pedestal, then it began hit, a hitbox for Sinji. If Zane does it, then it is a hitbox for Zane. <laughs> I think he knocked it up with F tilt. They they knocked it up with F tilt. I will get consistent at that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. So yeah, I mean, they're already making it even. It's looking a lot better for Zane and um, Sinji because. I mean, they're making it really even at this point, even though you know, it just took 34%, but they're definitely trying to keep this as even as possible. So, um, I'm just, it's gonna be a game for this point. Um, seeing, you know, how well, you know, they read each other's options and just trying their best to take the that stock that's gonna be most important. I definitely underestimated how important platforms are for the for the the duck hunt progression through their tools buying by putting can on top of these platforms zane s suddenly gains so much more flexibility that wasn't there on fd and it actually is giving uh, things for sinji to worry about though tech chasing or with the or chasing a roll with that bell is gonna be tried and true and now Sinji with the lead. Uh, th th these can snowball quite quick. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you know, I'm very interested to see um, any other, you know, tech that Zane can pull off because if I remember correctly, they did upload a YouTube video um, showcasing some tech with Duncan. So, I mean, this is probably not the best time to bring that up, but um, I mean, any tech that they know, they can definitely try their best you know to pull it out at any moment i mean look at what we're doing i mean any help is appreciated yeah it's it, when you're playing against a player as caliber as sinji and especially on your winner side stock um you can sometimes feed into your character's specific tech and look for look for ways to to squeeze out stock squeeze out dubs from that point uh, the main problem always feels like that while Zane does an amazing job of uh, circumventing this, uh, Duck Hunt takes a 
while to set everything up, and he, Zane had plenty of time there, only setting up Can at ledge. But it, it it's tricky. It's, it's tricky to do so to try and do so much in so little time, particularly when Sinji just mm -hmm. always manages to pull out Bell and get these kills off of it. And for what you're constantly worried, and if you don't go in and try and take space and prevent Sinji from getting Bell, then he pulls out Key and disrupts your entire setup. Key goes through. I mean, we I think we see it right here. No, he pulls Bell. Okay, it was a little bit beforehand, but Key went through all of that stuff and made Zane. Well, like it put Zane back to square one, of which the option at that point, since you took so much time to pull all your stuff, was I guess I better take center. And one false move against Pac-Man is only going to result in devastation.